So today we are just going to whip up a really quick and easy meal. I'm using mushrooms because I have shiitake mushrooms that I need to use up and they are really hearty and they keep you full for a long time. So I'm going to be having those there. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make this recipe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for being here and this week we have another really quick and easy recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And you can use any type of mushroom but I'm just showing you guys that I'm using some shiitake mushrooms in this recipe. As far as noodles go, I have a millet and brown rice noodle that I'm using but again you can use whatever you have on hand or whatever you can find at your local grocery store. So I wanted to make something a little bit more high protein and so I decided to incorporate some tofu into it and this is just a firm tofu that I'm going to be using and again here is the noodle uh, that I chose but again use whatever you have available to you. I love these. These are great for soups. I think you guys have seen me use these noodles in a few different ways but I absolutely love them and they're really inexpensive and we find them at Costco or HomeSense here in Canada. So I love this meal just because it is so quick to cook up and I had all these mushrooms that I didn't want to waste so I decided that they were going to be basically the highlight of the meal. And I'm just chopping up my tofu into cubes and I chopped up my mushrooms really easily. And yeah, that's pretty much it and I'm using this uh, better than bouillon just to add a little bit of extra flavor. Whatever bouillon that you have that is oil free, go for it and use that for some added flavor. As far as other seasonings go, I just added my staple seasonings and pretty much everyone has those on hand. If I had fresh garlic, then I would be adding it into the bouillon right now and let it cook down. But since I don't have any, I'm just going to use the garlic powder that I have and I'm just going to use some onion powder and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to be adding any extra salt just because I am going to throw in a dash of teriyaki sauce and a little bit of soy sauce. So that's going to give me enough salt. I don't need to add any more. And I am throwing generous amounts of black pepper in the tofu and also like overall when I'm serving it, I add a little bit of extra black pepper. If you wanted your tofu to even be even more flavorful, then I would just season them beforehand. Just add the seasonings, let them sit in a bowl for a while and then they will taste even better. But I find that doing it like this, they taste great to me and I can cook up my meal super fast. But again, it's a preference thing. Some people like to season their tofu just because they're not really tofu fans and it helps them get it down. So you decide what you want to do. And I'm just boiling some water to get those noodles in. These noodles cook up really quickly, which is fantastic. Another reason why I love using them. And then I'm just going to drain them and then incorporate everything together. So I like to have some sort of greens in all my meals. So I would say have a side salad with this just to incorporate some extra greens. You are having a lot of mushrooms in this meal, obviously, but still having some extra veg would be great. Um, or you can add some spinach to this, which would really um, increase the nutrition content. And also it would taste absolutely amazing. Again, I didn't have any spinach or else I would throw in a couple handfuls of that as well into the tofu and just wilt that down a bit and just to get some extra veg in me. So although it's summertime, I do feel like this would be a really quick and easy summertime meal only because it took me no time at all to make this whole dish and it provided me with a really big serving. And yeah, I wasn't slaving away in the kitchen for ages. I can quickly cook this up. I just needed a pan and a pot and I'm done. I need one serving dish to throw everything together and then I can go outside and enjoy my meal in you know the summertime weather which I'm trying to spend as much time as possible outside. 
So yeah, I mean, even though I am cooking it and it is a warm dish, I feel like this is a really quick and easy summertime dish just because we are typically lower on time because we want to spend more time outside. We're spending a lot of time doing outdoor activities and picnics and whatnot. So anyway, I'm just looking for meals that are super fast that I can whip up really quickly when we get in and we are starving versus ordering takeout. So I'm adding another little teaspoon, it was actually a really small teaspoon though, um, I think it's like a dessert spoon um, of that bouillon just to add some flavor to my mushrooms and of course I always water saute, I never use oil because that increases my calorie content and it's not necessary because it doesn't add any extra flavor or enhancement to my meal. I can easily use water and bouillon or just water and whatever seasonings I'm using and I'm perfectly content with that. And again, there I go adding some more black pepper because black pepper for me in this dish is a highlight for the meal. So I am adding a generous amount of that black pepper. So I typically use cremini mushrooms most of the time and those cook up really, really quick. Um, but because I had shiitakes, that's what I'm using and they are actually really, really healthy. So I'm really glad that we found some shiitakes just to change it up a little. Mushrooms are extremely healthy for us. So I like to incorporate mushrooms as much as possible. Now the shiitakes take longer to cook up so again this is taking a little longer than it normally would when I make it with creminis but it is worth the wait because these shiitakes are absolutely delicious they're really hearty and it really adds a lot of substance to the meal I'm going to feel really full and not just because of the noodles but because of the mushrooms as well they are just extremely filling. So I'm adding in that garlic powder and the onion powder like I talked about and that's pretty much it now when the noodles were done i just transferred that to my pan and gave it a nice little mix and then i also splashed a little bit of teriyaki just make sure that your teriyaki is a vegan and b oil free and i just like a little tiny bit i don't like a lot of um, teriyaki or sauces on my dish but if you like a lot then go ahead and add more um, but yeah i just put a splash and i put a splash of my tamari and that's pretty much it that is my dish So that's pretty much it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you find this recipe helpful and my other recipes helpful, then please give the video a like as it helps the channel tremendously. Thank you so much for the love and support. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy health and wellness videos and quick and easy vegan cooking. So take care everyone and I will see you again in the next video and don't forget to let me know in the comments what other types of videos you would like to see so that I get some ideas and inspiration for some upcoming videos. Thanks again everyone. Love you guys. Stay healthy.